Hello students, I will discuss today in today's lecture about the mitotic cell cycle and we are going to discuss in this chapter about the basic of chromosome and basically the outline of the cell cycle and then mitotic cycle. Okay. About the cell cycle, so what is the cell cycle? The cell cycle, a process the cell goes through each time into a cell cycle consists of series of steps during which the chromosome and other cell material double to make the two copies. The cell then divides into two daughter cells, each receiving one copy of the double material. We have seen that wound. How wound healing is there? So wound healing is the best example of this mitotic cycle. Okay mitotic cycle where one cell is going to form two cells right and then each cells are going to further form two cells okay so now you can see after the first division this is the first division how many cells there are two cells and after the Second division, there will be four cells. Okay, any doubt, if any question is there, you can ask in the comment box, right? So, I don't think there will be a problem. So, this is the first case where this wound is happened because of anything, any cut. Then what you can see, there is a formation of new cells and uh, this process is called as the repair system okay this process is called as the repair system so repairing is done by the mitotic cycle even if you see the stem cells which is occurring in the bone marrow stem cells so they are totipotent cells, totipotent cells, and they are dividing into the larvae. So, uh, what is a totipotent cell? Totipotent cells are those cells which can form any cells, right? So when the baby is growing, right? Then also there is the importance of mitotic cycle. So mitotic cycle when there is a baby growing. Because there are two type of cycle. If you will see there is mitotic cycle and uh, another one is meiotic cycle. Meiotic cycle. My meiotic cell division. Right? Meiotic cell division. And uh, this is mitotic cell division. So, what is the difference? Mitotic cycle occur over all body cells, body cells, all body cells are undergoing mitotic cycle, right? And all the genetic cells sex cells you can say sex cells undergoing the uh, meiotic 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 cell division right so basically this is the idea of cell division there are two types you can divide first is the mitotic and second is the meiotic. Okay, meiotic one cells is going to form four cells. They are going to form four cells. Right, one, two, three, and four. Okay, in the mitotic division what is happening one cell is going to form the two cells okay 
So how this cell starts dividing, how they're reaching into the mitotic phase? This is the uh, biggest question. So if you'll see meiotic division, so we can divide cell cycle into two phases. First one is interphase, first one is interphase, and second one is mitotic phase. So I can show you the diagram, it will be more clear to you, right? Now this is cell cycle, we can divide it into interphase and another one is the mitosis. Mitosis further can be divided into the karyokinesis, karyon means nucleus and cytokinesis means cell division, means one cell is dividing into two. This is the cytokinesis here. Uh, nuclear changes is going to occur, prophase formation of or formation of all the protein material in the prophase, formation of large number of protein material here in the prophase, all right? And uh, uh, prophase, uh, protein and DNA both, all type of protein, DNA, spindle fiber, everything is going to be available in the prophase. And here also you can see the chromosome material going to be doubled. And now the metaphase, metaphase there is alignment of all the chromosome which are having the sister chromatid okay, at the metaphase plate. What is the metaphase plate? During the cell division you can see at the middle of the cells all this chromosome is going to align. Okay, so astral rays are there, which are arise from the centriole. They are attached to these points. Okay, so before the mitosis, before the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, there is another phase in the start of the cell division that is called as the <coughs> interphase which starts from the G1, S and G2. G0 phase is there in some cells which are not dividing or taking rest for example ova cells, neurons they are not dividing at all, ova is at the rest cell until and unless they are receiving the sperm. So then only they enter into the G1 phase. And G1 phase, once cell enter into the G1 phase, all the protein cellular contents are going to be duplicated except the chromosome. Chromosome is not going to duplicate it here. Uh, rather than the chromosome number is going to be duplicated here and uh, if for example human being contains 46 chromosome they are going to have the double content it will be around 92. <clears throat> now the problem is there if there is any error in the chromosome duplication or replication by which DNA is replicated so if they have any errors they might be causing cancers. Okay, so double checks is performed in the duplicated chromosome for any error and if any repair is required then they halt and never enters into the mitotic phase. I hope this is clear. So now you can see this is G1 is interface, S is interface, G2 is interface. This is a part of cell growth, this is part of S phase is called DNA synthesis and this is part of cell growth again 
and then if everything is okay then cell is entering into the mitotic phase and formation of two daughter cells and a further mitotic phase this is a mitotic phase you can divide into prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase telophase and cytokinesis now you can see the nuclear changes in the nuclear behavior the nucleus is here present and again the no nucleus is there dissolves no nucleus is there dissolve no nucleus is there dissolve now again in the telophase what you can see there is the appearance of two nuclear membrane two how many two this is one this is two and again in the cytokinesis each cell is going to have their own nucleus and if animal cell is dividing they are identified by the cleavage furrow right and if the plant cell is dividing the new cell wall formation is there which going to separate the two cells so chromosome condenses and become visible A spindle fiber emerges from the centrosomes nuclear nuclei break down centro Sounds move toward a positive pole. Oh, what is the prometaphase features? Chromosome continue to condense. Chromatochore appear at the centromere, right? Chromatochore appear at the centromere. Chromatochore is going to appear here. And mitotic spindle, microtubule attached to chromatochore. Metaphase. Chromosome are lined up at the metaphase plate. Each sister chromatid is attached to spindle fiber. originating from opposite poles anaphase centromeres is split into two sister chromatids now called as chromosomes okay when sister chromatids form then they are called as the chromosomes and you can identify in the metaphase even and in the anaphase also they are well visualized in the electron microscope as well as the compound microscope okay so they are pulled toward a part opposite poles and also you will see there is a separase enzyme which are going to dissolve the component which holding the two sister chromatids right so this is the protein going to be dissolved by the separase enzyme then only acetal rays which are present only in the animals are going to pull them apart and uh, after pulling the chromosome is separating if separase is not active then it's not going to be dissolved right the separase uh, enzyme uh, must be there uh, which are helpful in separating the two sister chromatids right so now chromosome arrive at opposite poles and begin to decondense again you can see the new changes two nuclear envelope is going to form here and they are surrounding each set of chromosome mitotic spindle now break down completely and spindle fiber continue to push pole poles apart so i already discussed arrangements so this is all about a short brief about the cell cycle mitotic phase right in the next class we'll be discussing more such things what you need you can give me a comment in the comment box thank you so much uh, this is your mentor dr silendra bhat thank you bye bye